Hello chess parents. Today we are going to learn how to set up a chessboard. This is really quite simple once you know the three things that you need to remember to set up a chessboard. But many people do make mistakes in setting up the chessboard. Particularly people who make movies often get this first thing wrong. We always want a white square on our right hand side. So we have our right hand, we have a white square in that corner for both the white and the black player. I find that movies get this wrong about 50% of the time, so that can be something for you to look for next time you see a chess scene in a movie. Then we want to make sure that we have our queen on her color. The light colored queen should go on a light square, the dark colored queen should go on a dark square. You'll find all kinds of colors for your chess pieces and for your chess boards. In the classroom, we almost always use a very common green chess board, but you'll find things that are purple and yellow and red, like this chess board, or pure black and white, kind of traditional. There's all kinds of designs you'll find, but there will always be a light color and a dark color, and you want the light colored queen on the light colored square in the center of the board. You want the dark colored queen on the dark colored square across from her on the center of the board. Then, the final thing to remember is go in order of height. Go tallest down to smallest. The king and queen sit in the middle of the board, uh, in the middle back of the board. And then we have our bishops, we have our knights, we have our rooks. On this 3D board, you can kind of see the difference in height, but you'll see it much more clearly on a board that you're setting up at home with your son or daughter. The king and queen start in the middle, and then bishops, knights, and rooks a nice gradation from tallest down to smallest on the edge. If you remember those three things, you'll always get your chessboard set up correct to begin the game. 